construction getting ready to reopen this week. And yeah, SeaWorld will be back open for the first time since December. And you know, so many kids are excited to see these animals. News 8, Allison Royal joining us live from inside the theme park now with a closer look at what will be happening there this weekend. Good morning, Allison. Good morning, Netta and Eric. Yes, SeaWorld is open for business starting tomorrow, but expect a couple of changes. For example, if you're two years old or old, two years old or older, expect to wear a face covering. Joining me now here is Marilyn Hannes from SeaWorld to tell us the latest about what is going on in the park. Good morning. Good to see you. Well, good morning and great to see all of you. We are thrilled to tell you that we are reopening as a zoo starting tomorrow on the 6th. So 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. tomorrow, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Sunday, we're open as a zoo. So come out and enjoy all of our amazing animals and live presentations like Dolphin Days and Sea Lions Live and Orca Encounter. But all new rescue tales, a brand new presentation all about rescue and fun animals. So come out and join us. I have heard about rescue tales and I've heard that, you know, with socially distanced seating and it's pretty interactive with the animals. Can you tell me a little bit more about that, Marilyn? Sure. I mean, if you don't know, SeaWorld's been rescuing animals uh, since we've been open. So we've now, as a company, rescued more than 38,000 animals. And a lot of those are right here in San Diego. And we want to share those stories. People love those stories. And we want to also share animals with people and also teach people in a fun way what they can do to make a difference and, and help animals not be in a situation of needing to be rescued. So it's a fun way to educate the public. It's a fun new show presentation. So come out and see it in terms of the safety in the amphitheater. We had a chance to do all this back in the fall before the stay at home order. So all the seating is marked. It's socially distanced, uh, very safe. Of course, there's sanitation after each show where we come through and spray and make sure. So it's not hard to have a fun day. And I think overall people are getting really used to wearing the masks now. So. <laughs> You know, we've had to do it for quite a while now, so everybody's getting used to it. You just got to get one in every color to match every outfit. Actually, I'm working on that. I do have a lot of different <laughs> animal faces. You can get really cute ones at SeaWorld, by the way. Fun animal faces. So what other animals can people see if they want to walk through the exhibits? I know sea lions and dolphins are available to look at with the socially distant stickers on the floor. Yes, actually, all the animal exhibits are marked. And right now, with uh, the, the COVID regulations, it's outdoor animal exhibits, right? So certainly killer whales, including underwater viewing, certainly the dolphins at Dolphin Point, the sea lions at Sea Lion Point. Magellanic penguins are on display outside the penguin encounter. You can still see sharks and other species at Explorers uh -huh. Reef just past me, where you can actually put your hands in the water and interact with marine life. So there's, there's all the marine life at Explorers Reef. Okay. There's eels and all kinds of stuff. Sounds great. Thank you so much, Marilyn. All right, we're going to check back in with you in a little bit. But once again, SeaWorld opens tomorrow at 10 a.m. I'm going to send it back to you, Netta okay. and Eric.